well, it's a farm all Friday and I'm not gonna take one for the team. Plans have changed. I've got family coming in to hunt and I'm the guide surface. So guess what? Ain't taking one for the team, but I am going down. This is a farm all Friday and there is a nice farm all tractor for sale at WTC. This is the last auction of the year. So let's make it a good one. Right in the gate, got a 1920 Ford. Big old bucket on there. Kirby Pocket. You can see 1920. It's used. It's used. Selling with reserve. Item 154. 540 PTO. Uh, I don't see a remote in the back, but you're seeing what I'm seeing. Alright. Hours. Uh, I think... Uh, Looks like from here it looks like 3072 ish. I don't know if that's working tack, but I know that's what the tack says. Now we go right across here, there's a corral setup. Look like brand new panels and everything. If you lose a bid on any of these items, this is the last auction, only at the last auction does this happen. You have to go in there. And uh, I don't know what the rule is if you can be served food while you're in there or not, or you have to go without. Uh, but don't lose because you'll end up in the corral Come right around here got a Ferguson and I want you Fergie guys because I got a bunch of you a slew to tell me what this is is it a TO 20 TO 30 I don't know Thread and it ain't in the shed got an updated seat on it um, Looks like it may be a turkey feather in its cap Yep, no remote Looks like the uh, overrun clutch on there is what it looks like to me. Yes, so you could brush hog with it. And I uh, got truck tires up front, so there you go. Fergie. Well, here's an 1850 Oliver, and it's a diesel hydropower drive. I don't remember what Chad said about this on his golf cart chats with Chad, um, other than I don't believe it runs. But worth something yeah you all you guys man you, you make you put me to shame even when it comes to buying the cubbies i mean you're non-stop buyers got the rust prevention program going on that's always a good thing yep decent seat up top actually um skin on that side looks okay i mean there's 25 percent tread on there 30 percent 540 cat 2 remote remote yeah, there you go. Come buy you a restoration tractor. All right, a Massey Ferguson 95. I think I've only ever seen one of these sell, and it might have been, is there a Super 95? I think it might have been a Super. And uh, I, I don't know much about this particular tractor other than it is here and it is for sale with what appears to be no reserve. Now, old chalkers, okay. Chalkers. Well, no, I take that back. There is a yellow tag reserve. So there is a reserve on this diesel. So if you're a weasel, you ain't going to buy the diesel. And I don't know uh, with these fenders. I mean, is, is that is that orchard or is that Wheatland? But easy on, easy off. Got the tow. And uh, one remote. Bring your own pad. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Got starter fluid there, got the ether. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this thing actually starts. What do we got for skins on here size-wise? 18 434s. Okay, there you go. 95, 95. Oh, the Pontiac G6 selling with reserve. Now my son had one of these and uh, my daughter borrowed it. She wrecked it. <laughs> And she sure did. She wrecked it. Not on I-90. Oh, yeah. Looks the same. 
Pontiac. I won't tell you what it means, stands for. Ford 3400 with a loader. Yellow and blue, and if it's blue at all, it's for you at all. But yeah, looks like you'd pick up a house and a half, selling with reserve. Come around the back here. Yep, 540, looks like Cat 1. No remote, but remote's kind of being utilized by the pocket. Kirby pocket. So there you go. You need something to pick something up and put it down. It's right here. I don't normally cover golf carts, but this one's selling with no reserve. Gas engine, club car. And then we kind of shift over here. We got a carry-all. And it's been the year of the carry-alls because I think I got at least three carry-alls for the back of a farm all now. But this would be cool. Another gas unit. Got the filters, inlines. That's always a good sign. Selling no reserve. These are going to sell, man. Now, if you buy one of these, don't let your family know because they'll come over to the farm and expect a farm tour all the time. So, yeah, you buy one, you hide it. No, I didn't chop my legs off. It's up on a trailer. It's a long 910, long duck dong. And it looks like... Uh, Maybe had some starter work done. Solenoid right there. And now uh, somebody, one of you viewers, has a long, because you commented a long time ago, pun intended, that uh, you, you respected the fact that I didn't uh, not cover such machinery. But we'll walk around the back real quick. I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that the trailer and tractor are going to sell separately. Looks cat two and two remotes in the rear. Yep. Old long nine tenner. And again, you know, the same thing applies. If it's blue, it's for you. Selling with reserve. Well, you don't see this too often. A 2555 John Deere selling no reserve. I don't remember what Chad said was wrong with it. Um, needed some repairs, stuff like that. He will say before he auctions it off so if you're here or whatever he will tell you what it needs because he's already said it on his golf cart chats with chad continental rears uh, look like look, look to me like 18 430s maybe right in that range cat too two remotes but i'm walking and talking because i got stuff to cover it's got the rings there for the clamp ons and I don't know, maybe wheeling and dealing Wes has a set for this. Don't know. John Deere 55, 55. No reserve. Well, I coined the phrase last night in the live stream, the golf cart chats with Chad. Mama Mia. Benny's going to be in the Kia on Saturday. Selling absolute. Once Benny starts it up, you won't be able to resist yourself. Oh, we got leather. I don't know what year it is. Could be an 07, could be an 09. Could be a 10, big fat hand. Yeah, there you go. Sportage. Now, here we go. We got a new idea super sheller. And how cool are these, man? It's basically a pull type two row narrow combine, corn combine. And we watched, some of you watched, the ghost of Lucius Clay. It blew his channel up a little bit using that. He was picking. He was actually shelling, I guess, in July. And I don't know, what were you getting in the upper end of 100 bushels still, even out in July, with all your deer and all that crap you're dealing with? But, uh, yeah, sheller, it's here. Reserve. We go right here. We got a picker. There's actually two pickers here. No reserve. Well, tis the season with reserve. Got a Peckway gear. Kill bros up top. Looks like maybe 200 bushel. Maybe 250. Right in that range. Case IH. Uh, what appears to be 20 foot bean head. Yep. Float and go, I guess. Yeah, it's got the shoes on there. Yeah, and they definitely pick beans with it because there's the bean stalks. 
the only thing missing is the driver jack well you know i got my bulletproof honda rancher here at this very auction this one comes with a snow plow and that looks i don't know i've been pushing six foot but no reserve on this 330 magnum yeah polaris and they make a very very nice side by side so you need something to ply your driveway four wheel drive we're slick in the rear but you just keep it four wheel drive you'll get somewhere well actually there's three pickers second picker third picker there you go so buy you a sheller and three pickers and after you're done you'll be a grinner you know i will admit John Deere does make some great implements. Uh, to say their corn planters are junk would be a lie. Their 7,000s were pretty darn good. And this is a 290, 292 row. Looks adjustable on the on the toolbar there. Bring her on in. I'd say it's I'd say that's wide. You know, hard telling. I mean, if you're using this for food plot or sweet corn, um, set it at 36 or 38. But yeah, I popped these. They both look clean. Yeah. There you go. Ground driven. Man, this has been the year for the Zetter, Zeter. I'm going to go with Zetter. 72.45. And I, I don't know. You guys comment about these tractors in the comments. And I read them. And I, and I understand them and comprehend them for about an hour. And then I forget. So go ahead and leave a comment about the, the old Zetter. Quite possibly made overseas italy i don't know i know the the sami or same i was calling it same you guys oh that's sami okay um where's this one made india italy but anyway he's got a monster platform up there you could square dance on looks like four-wheel drive front wheel assist whichever way you want to go with it i i don't care got one full remote and then a third wheel there for the odd man out 540 pto cat 2 looks like yeah got a little something something going on there too top link with it yeah there you go the old zetter you got bad ground wet ground come get her we saw a Ford 5000 sell at that last auction, and you guys were all in panic mode, all in panic mode. It's like, oh my word, I can't believe how cheap it went. Apparently, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not a Ford fanatic. I'm, I'm a Farmall fanatic, but apparently the Selecto speed transmissions are not highly desirable. I don't know what this one has. I will go in there and show you so that you can tell me. Uh, it does have the toolbox slash fishing tackle box on the front, so. You know it's twofold you go do your work field work all day and then you drive the tractor up to the pond and you go fishing so there you go yep it's got the old seat clamp right here holding something up it'd probably hold me up but there's there's your there you go that's what you get i'll walk around the back still a ford 5000 either way you look at it yep 540 pto one remote cat two should have been work still got the knobbies on there though 18 430s that's what i had on the old david brownie rust prevention program sold i don't know originally out of green hill farms but at one point in its life out of green hill farms so there you go ford 5000 oh here we go another ferguson i don't remember what chad said if this is a 20 you guys will know what is it uh looks like new coil on there I, i'm I'm betting this is a running machine here. You know, if you want a Ferguson that runs, this is probably your your chance. And it's going to be your last chance of the year if you want to buy one down at WTC in Segertown. So that's where, oh, it's a 30. Okay, there you go. Thanks, emblem. Assuming that's the right emblem. 13.628. Count one, 540. There you go. He's got the underbelly exhaust probably a brush hogger in the smv because it doesn't do 60. all right paul pine city apiary here you go a yanmar 
YM240 and uh, we're going back a little bit got the turf tires in the rear you see what's in the front selling with reserve um, missing rain cap we have no rain in the forecast until Monday that is a fact this is a little moist but you know hey, it's Benny's bot you know not mine yeah the OEM or you're gonna plow with it you're gonna need some chains Allison chains there goes the Wooster yeah got a cat one no remote 540 and I'm walking and gawking and here's your control right here easy access just rest your arm right there like that and control your life away there you go I kind of like that yeah see right in there and see what's going on Yanmar YM240 Normally, I don't make you wait. We got a farm all 350 here, wide front, as you can see. Decent skins on the rear, and I'm going to call those 13638s until I actually look. However, the 350, 350, um, you know, we're, we're talking just a hair more horsepower than a farm all M. But I'm going to debate and argue and open up the can of worms saying that this doesn't have the torque that an M does. But one advantage it does have is a torque amplifier so that's always a plus um gasser and sediment bowl doesn't look bad there is something in the bottom of it but there's something in the bottom of all of them and uh got a little bit of a rust prevention program going on looks like a new belt right there they built these uh 56 through 58 fast hitch that's a huge bonus remote and we got a, there you go, got that going on too. Uh, apparently he brush hogged eight acres with this. And it does show a little bit of like grass, dust, hay dust type of things to verify that. So if you're Inspector Gadget, you're going to see all that and go, yeah, that's, that's true. Yep. Yeah, decent skins. Not bad at all. They're Armstrong's and yes, they are 13, 6, 38 on what appears to be a 12 inch rim i'm going to say that they are loaded or were loaded at one time based on what i'm seeing there i'm showing you what i'm seeing and uh yeah we got a 350 and uh it is it is actually painted correct you see a lot of 300s that are painted this way <laughs> and that ain't correct and i don't know if it was from you know years gone by trying to keep up with the joneses or what now let's talk about this tractor in particular nine three four four tell me is that a 56 57 58 i don't know you tell me um oh, most guys would say that this is a two bottom tracker and i would totally agree that's the safe bet depends on your ground now i have a 311 three bottom plow at home it's i gonna go with the 314 but it's heavy framed Okay, if you're going to use a 311 plow with a 350, you're going to need front weight. You're going to need cheek weights, front weights here, um, and I think you'd still be a little bit light in the loafers up front, but I, I think it would pull it. I've had guys tell me that they pulled a three bottom trailer type plow with their 350 and got away with it. That's a different plow setup it just is then picking up a big heavy framed 311 which I, I like using a 560 you know but but it would give it all it had that's for sure no doubt about it so yeah we're just gonna walk and talk and gawk and if somebody can look that up and put it in the comments down below what year it is yeah it doesn't look abused it just looks used that's all there you go 350 where would you be at on this as far as bidding and these hoses look new yeah you know sometimes guys just you know they have a tractor like this and and it does do the job maybe it doesn't do it quite as efficiently as they'd like and they they just want to upgrade and go to something else and i understand that you know but having the fast hitch is a big deal we did see two diesel 350 sell at that last auction and you can go watch that last auction. Red power, sale, low prices. 
There you go. Farm all 350. 350. All right, well, there you go. Last auction of the year. We're going to make it a good one. It's going to be nice weather out, too. I think they're calling for a high of like 62, 63, just perfect to be out in. And uh, we'll probably premiere the results Saturday night premiere. Be there.